Seller Central walkthrough. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create your Seller Central account the correct way. Before you start, make sure you watch the lesson about Seller Central requirements and the critical guidelines lesson. If you live in a country in group two or three, also make sure you have watched the lesson about third party services. In other words, World First and Payoneer. Lastly, have all the information you need ready to hand. You need your name, whether it's business or personal, your address, your credit card, phone number, and deposit method. If your country is in group two, we do recommend you go ahead and get your account created with World First or Payoneer. However, if you want to, you can go ahead and create your Seller Central account and add that information later. If your country is in group three, then do not create your Seller Central account until you have your deposit method created. Remember, you have two choices when it comes to the type of account, either individual or professional. You can start with either. The example you are going to see is for an individual account, but the process is virtually the same. So if you do decide to go with a professional account, you can just follow along just the same. UK and Germany. One big difference with the UK and Germany. Once you add your business entity, you will not be able to change it without going through a complicated process with seller support in those countries. If you have already used your personal name, then there is no need to panic. Basically, this is only for identification, accounts and tax purposes. And you can still change your seller name. If you plan to use a company, then wait until you have that info before signing up at Seller Central in either the UK or Germany. Setting up a company in Germany or the UK is a very fast, simple and cheap process compared to the USA. If you plan to use your personal name, then go ahead and complete the process now. So let's get started. The example we will show is for the USA and again the process is virtually identical. To get started, go to the following address sellercentral.amazon.com Okay, so once you've typed in that address, you're going to come to this page. Now, don't worry about the URL. You're probably going to have a lot more characters on the end of it, but don't let that worry you. It's just how Amazon set up the URLs. Now, if we go below this box, where it says not already selling on Amazon, we're going to click on the register now button and it's going to bring us to this page. Now, if you decided you want to start with a professional account, then you can just click on start selling and it will be basically the same process as I'm going to show you. But I'm going to show you in this example how to set up an individual account. In other words, one that you're not going to pay for straight away. And to do that, we're going to look in the middle of the page underneath the big start selling button. You can see an option called pricing. So all we need to do is click on that. And again, we've got the sell as a professional, but we want to find the individual. So if you scroll down the page, you'll see the button here, sell as an individual. So let's click on sell as an individual. And that's going to bring us to this page. Now ignore this box here. That's actually my last pass address box, which saves passwords for me. But basically all we're going to do is we're going to put in an email address, preferably as we discussed before, a unique address just for our seller central account and a password. Now I am going to be blurring out a lot of the information in this lesson. However, where possible, I will try and leave the beginning of the input boxes so you can see where I'm putting the information. So put your email address in, but you want to put it in. You want to check the button to make it create a new account and then click continue. Okay. You want to fill in your first and second name and you're going to retype or paste your email address in again. And once again, I'm going to block it out and then you want to choose a password. You want to make it a fairly complicated password. You don't just want to use something very basic. Okay, so I've pasted both in. So I've put in my first and last name, my email twice, and my password twice, and I'm going to click continue. Now, the first page you're going to come to here is going to include your legal name. Now, if you haven't got a company, just use your own name. If you have got a company or an LLC or something similar, you can use that if you wish. Once you've put in your name or your business name, check the box to say you've read and accepted the terms and conditions of the agreement. By all means, read the agreement if you wish, and then click continue. Okay, so the next screen we're going to have to fill in our credit card information. But you want to fill out the credit card number, expiration date, card holder name, and the address. Okay, so fill out all the information, then just simply click save and continue. Okay, the next screen, again I've blurred out some information, but you want to choose your display name. Now again, we discussed this in module one, you want to choose something 
fairly broad at this stage in your business. That is unless you're absolutely 100% sure already that you know exactly what niche you want to go into. But it's important to remember that you can change the display name at any time you like. So I'm just choosing something at random, R. Jones products. I'm going to check the availability by clicking on check availability. Okay, that's available. So I'm going to carry on with that. Now at this point, if you're not 100% sure about what display name you want to use, you can click on the skip step, but you're always going to have to fill it out at some point. Remember, as I said, you can change it. So I'm going to click save and continue and we're almost there. So at this stage, we've got to verify our identity and you basically need a phone for Amazon to either call you or text you. Now, when I say call you, it's a simple automated phone call. You're not actually going to be speaking to a live human being. I'm going to select send me a text message and I'm going to click on text me now. Now I've received my pin number and I'm just going to click on verify pin. Congratulations, your identity has been successfully verified. Please continue to the next step of registration. That is actually my last step. So I'm going to click on complete registration. And there we go. I'm actually set up now with a brand new Amazon account. However, there is one more thing I need to do at some point, and that is to verify deposit method information. If you click on this link, it's going to take you to the deposit method. Basically what this is, is the bank account number where Amazon are going to send you your money. So obviously this is a very important thing to add, but it's something you don't have to do straight away. And in fact, you only need to add this before you receive your first payment. And that's probably going to be a couple of weeks after you make your first sale or there and thereabouts. However, what we would suggest is that you get this completed as soon as possible. If you're in one of the countries where you need Payoneer or World First, then go ahead and apply for that. Get the account information and as soon as you get it back from them, go and fill in this information. But that is exactly how you set up a seller central account. And once you've got this all set up, you're ready to start building your Amazon business. Now, depending on what option you chose, you might have had to complete the tax interview. This is something you will need to do at some point anyway. Just make sure you answer all the questions correctly and you should have no issues. If you are living outside the USA and don't have a company in the USA, make sure you select that option at the start. So what's next? Well, now you have learned how to set up your Seller Central account. In the next lesson, you are going to learn why building a brand is so important, and especially when it comes to product selection. So your action step, set up your Amazon Seller Central account. However, as I mentioned previously, you don't have to do this straight away. That's it for this lesson. Take care.